Lucid Charts tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Lucid Chart. Lucid Chart is a web-based diagramming application that lets you visually collaborate on drawing, revising, and sharing charts and diagrams. You can use Lucid Chart to improve processes, systems, and organizational structures. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Lucid Chart, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, locate the Sign Up Free button and click on it. By clicking this button, you will be directed to a page where you can select the Lucid Chart plan that suits your needs. Lucid Chart offers four different plans free, individual, team, and enterprise. The free plan is available at no cost, while the individual plan costs $7.95 per month. The team plan is priced at $9 per month, and for the enterprise plan, you'll need to get in touch with the sales team. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will choose the free plan, so we'll click on the Start Free button to proceed. After selecting the plan, you will be redirected to the Sign Up window. Here you have various options to create a new account. You can sign up using your work email, your Google account, your Office 365 account, or your Slack account. Choose the option that best suits your preferences and click on it to proceed with the sign up process. Once you have successfully signed up, you will be taken to your account dashboard. This dashboard will serve as your central hub for accessing and managing your Lucid Chart diagrams and projects. When you access the Lucid Chart dashboard, you'll notice two main sections the left menu, and the top right bar. The left menu serves as the primary navigation area, allowing you to move between different functions within the platform. At the top of the dashboard, you will find the Lucid Chart logo along with a Plans section drop-down menu. Underneath the logo, you'll see the details of your existing plan. In our case, since we're using the free plan, it will be displayed there. If you wish to upgrade to a premium subscription, you can click on the drop-down menu next to the free plan option to explore and select a different plan. The plus new button enables you to create new documents and folders. This button provides a convenient way to start working on fresh projects. The recent documents is where you can access recommended templates and view the documents that you have recently visited or worked on. This section allows you to quickly resume your work or explore relevant templates for your projects. Under the documents tab, you can view and manage your created documents. This is where you can find your active documents as well as any documents you may have sent to the trash. The Shared With Me tab displays all the documents that have been shared with you or that you have accepted invitations for. It serves as a centralized location for accessing collaborative documents. The Starred Items tab is where you can find the documents that you have marked as favorites for easy access. This feature helps you quickly locate and work on your most important documents. The Templates tab offers a library of various pre-designed templates. Here you can browse through different categories of templates and choose the one that suits your needs. This feature saves time and provides a starting point for creating diagrams and visualizations. The Integration tab allows you to integrate LucidChart with other industry-leading apps that you frequently use. This integration feature enhances workflow efficiency by connecting LucidChart with your preferred tools. In addition to the left menu, the top right side of the dashboard offers additional options. You can change the view of documents between grid and list view, allowing you to customize how your documents are displayed. You can also sort documents and folders based on your preferences. Furthermore, you can access document and folder details, view the latest notifications related to your account and projects, and manage your account settings from this area of the dashboard. Now, let's see how to create a new document. To create a new document in LucidChart, start by navigating to the plus new button located at the top of the left menu. Clicking on this button will present you with various options. Hover over the Lucid Chart option and a drop down menu will appear, offering different ways to create a document. If you select the blank document option, you will be directed to a blank page where you can start creating your document from scratch. This option is suitable if you prefer to build your visualizations without any predefined structure. Alternatively, you can choose the Create from Template option if you want to use a pre-built template. If you have existing documents created in other platforms like Visio, Gliffy, Draw.io, or OmniGraffle, you can also import them into Lucid Chart. Simply click on the Import option and follow the instructions to bring your documents into the Lucid Chart platform. 
For this tutorial, we will click on Create from Template to create a document from the existing templates. When you select this option, you will be taken to the template library where you can browse through a wide range of templates available for LucidChart. These templates are organized into different categories such as flowcharts, brainstorming, timelines, org charts, task boards, and tree diagrams. By clicking on a specific category, you can explore the templates within that category and choose the one that best fits your needs. In this tutorial, we will click on the Tree Diagrams category within the Template Library. From the available Tree Diagram templates, we will choose the first one called Critical to Quality Tree from the category. Hovering over the template will present two options, Open and Preview. To proceed, we will click on Open and be directed to the editor. It's important to note that loading the template may take some time. Once you enter the editor, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to provide relevant information about yourself, invite or organization, and provide details about your work. Once you provide this information, you will gain the ability to customize the template according to your needs. The editor interface consists of several components. The left panel contains various elements such as shapes, containers, images, data, and more, which can be used to enhance the visual representation. Clicking on any panel within the left menu, such as the Shapes panel, will open the corresponding left sidebar, providing additional options and customization settings. Furthermore, the top menu offers a range of options including file management, editing tools, selection options, view settings, insert functionalities, arrangement tools, sharing capabilities, and help resources. By default, the edit option is open, enabling us to modify and personalize the template as required. Finally, the main canvas serves as the central area where the template resides. This is where you will make changes, add content, rearrange elements, and design the tree diagram based on your specific goals and requirements. Now, customizing the template in LucidChart is a straightforward process. To enlarge or shrink the canvas, simply hover over the canvas area, and arrows will appear on the corners. By dragging these arrows inward or outward, you can adjust the size of the canvas to your desired dimensions. Additionally, there is a zoom tool located at the bottom right corner of the interface, allowing you to zoom in or out of the canvas for better visibility. To change the text within a shape on the canvas, select the desired shape and begin typing. You can modify the size of the shape by clicking on it and dragging it inward or outward to decrease or increase its dimensions accordingly. If you wish to add additional shapes to the diagram, click on the Shapes panel located in the left menu. Choose the desired shape from the panel and drag it onto the canvas. Once the shape is placed, you can connect it to the main shape or other relevant shapes. To achieve this, select the Line tool from the Shapes panel, drag it to the canvas, and connect the shapes using the line. LucidChart provides extensive customization options, allowing you to tailor the template to your preferences and specific requirements. Once you have customized the template according to your needs, you can proceed to share it with others. Click on the Share button and a pop-up window will appear where you can add collaborators and specify their permissions for accessing and editing the diagram. Alternatively, you can copy the shareable link and send it to anyone you wish to grant access to. You also have the option to set specific permissions for the shareable link, ensuring that only authorized individuals can view or edit the diagram. After creating the document and customizing it to your satisfaction, it will be available in the Document section within the left menu. This section provides easy access to all your created diagrams, allowing you to quickly locate and work on them whenever needed. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using LucidChart. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.